Hello Python programmers! In this video I'm going to show you how to write your first program and we're going to look specifically at conditional statements. Now in the previous tutorials we've just been using this Python shell um, which is great for just messing around and tiring out ideas but it's not a good place to write programs because as soon as you close it down you've lost what you've done. Um, so instead what we're going to use is actually a new Python file. To do that you need to go to uh, your menu, it's, mine's off, off camera at the moment, but you just go file, new file um, and it will create a window like this and make sure you save it with a sensible name. In this case I've called it tutorial uh, because that's what we're doing. So I'm going to start off by having uh, a variable called health and I'm going to set it equal to 100. Um, I'm, I'm then going to look at a conditional statement. So in this statement it always starts off with an if. So if is my keyword and I want a statement that checks my health. So if my health is equal to um, 100 and uh, we'll look at these uh, statements in a, in, a, in a little bit. If my uh, health is equal to 100 I want the console to print to me a message you have full health. Uh, okay. If I don't have full health I want it to print to me a message saying you need to find some health packs. Okay, so this is my basic program. Now I'm going to save it, I'm going to run it. Uh, usually you can just press F5 or again you can go to your uh, file system, go file and um, run module. Okay, so I'm just going to press F5 and you'll see it runs in here. Now it says I have full health and that's because I've got my health set to 100. If I set it to 50 and save it and run it, it now says I need to find some health packs. So what's actually going on here? Well, in Python we can use these uh, conditional statements that check to see whether a condition is true or false. Now if you remember back to when uh, the first lesson when we looked at data types, we looked at booleans, you had this idea of true or false. Well this is what this is happening, this is what's happening here. We've got this con um, boolean operator here that's happening. We've got health is equal to 100. Now this value here, this statement is evaluating to false because currently my health is set to 50. So if this statement here, if this condition is not true, it will not run this line. Instead it will run whatever is in else. Now this isn't particularly useful because it's not, you know, it, I'm either got full health or I don't. What if I changed it slightly and I added additional conditional statements? So elif health if my health is not 100% it will now check this line so let's say if my health is less than 10 I want to print a message you are seriously close to kicking the bucket okay now what my program will do is look at this first condition. If it's true, it will print this first statement. If it's not true, it will let, look at the next condition. If the condition is true, it will run the statement. If it's not true, it will look at the next statement. If, if I have not used any more elifs, and all that is remaining is my else, it will print this last statement. So in this case, if I run this, it will print that second line. You need to find some health packs. Oh, I say the second line, I meant the third line, sorry. It will, because my health is set to 50. So my health is not equal to 100. My health is not less than 10. So the only, two, the only remaining option here is this line here. Let's set my health equal to 5 and run it. Now it says I'm seriously close to kicking the bucket. Why? Because the first statement isn't true, the second statement isn't true, but the third one is. And that's a basic if statement. It's really useful uh, to get to know this early on because most programs will use if statements along the way. You can add as many elifs as you want. Let's add another one. If health is greater than 10 and health 
is less than say 25 let's get it to print a message that says you need a large health pack okay so let's set my health equal to somewhere between these two statements so let's go let's go for 18 it'll now print let's run it it'll now print that you need a large health pack because I've got this statement which checks this condition and this condition and this keyword here is important because and means it has to meet this condition and this condition okay we're going to look at this word and in the next tutorial I'm going to look at uh, how it works with if statements so for now I'll leave you have a little practice of that and see how it goes